Hey my tricks, welcome to the next video in the playlist where we're going over the November 2020 Maths Paper 2 Pass Paper. Uh, if you don't have the paper, there's a link in the description below where you can download the paper as well as the memo, and then we can continue with the video. Okay, let's continue with question 9. Okay, so 9.1 I'm not going to cover as it is one of the proofs that you guys have to learn. Uh, so it should be in your textbook how to do the proof for 9.1. So I'm going to start then from 9.2. Okay, so 9.2 is dealing with circular geometry still. Uh, at the top here it says the chord um, QN. Okay, so we have a chord QN uh, bisects uh, MNP, so MNP, um, and intersects MP, okay, so MP over here, uh, at S. Okay, then they tell us that the tangent at P meets MN. Uh, produced at R such that QN, okay, so we have QN is parallel to PR. Okay, then they also tell us that P1 is equal to X. Now, if we look at 9.2.1, it says determine the following angles in terms of X. Okay, so we need to find N2, so N2 sitting up here. Okay, so what we should notice is, let me just write this 9.2.1, okay, what we should notice is that here's n we have a parallel line then we have a parallel line there there's p there's q and that's r okay so this is x over here okay which means this here which is n2 is also going to be x okay so we can say that n2 is going to equal to x and this is because of um alternating angles Okay, so you can now go and fill in that N2 equals to X. Okay, so we can see the Z or the N, whichever way you want to picture it, happening over there. Okay, now it says Q2. Okay, so here's Q2 over here. Okay, now we know that PR is a tangent. Okay, now in most of these questions, if they provide a tangent line to the circle, we're going to be using tan chord theorem somewhere. So if you note, here's my tangent. Okay. Then over here is my triangle, which means that the angle between the tangent okay, and the chord is equal to the opposite interior angle of the triangle. So we can see okay, that Q2, okay, this is 9.2 number B, okay, Q2 is also going to equal to X because it, or oh, well, let me write it better. Q2 is going to equal to P1, which equals to X. And this is because of our tan chord theorem. Okay. So, now we have that N2 equals to X and Q2 equals to X. So, you can come fill those in as well. Now, 9.2.2 says, prove with given reason that MN... And N over NR is equal to MS over SQ. So MN over NR, so the ratio of this long line, is then equivalent to the ratio of MS okay, over SQ. So this one and that one. Okay. So let's see, where can we begin with this? Okay. So I'm going to turn the page slightly just to help visualize this. If you look over here, okay, we can see that we have a triangle sitting over here, and this line, the base of the triangle, is parallel to that line. Okay, so technically what we have here is 9.2.2. Okay, let me just divide this here. We're sitting with the following triangle. Okay, just roughly drawing it over here. Okay. Um, so this is R, this is M, this is N, uh, this is P, and then this is S. Okay. So, but now they're dealing with SQ. Okay, so somehow we've got to relate SP to SQ, and then we can use midpoint theorem from our uh, triangles in order to solve this. So the first thing that I'm going to indicate is because N is being bisected by this line here. Bisect means cut in half. We can see N2 equals N1. K. 
Okay, so the first thing I have is n2 equals n1, which equals to x cap. So that we already know. Then the next thing we can see is that um, qn is parallel to pr. That's also given, so I'm just going to state that. So then qn is parallel to pr. Okay, now what's being given is we need to prove this down here. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to try and relate this side to this side. Okay, now we can see that this angle and that angle are equal. We've just proven this already. Okay, so due to angles in the same segment, we can see that it forms a bow tie here. We can see that N1 equals to P3. Okay, so um, N1 equals to P3, and that's angles in same segment. Okay, so therefore this is also equal to X. Okay, now we have that Q2 equals to P3. Okay, since they both are equivalent to X. Okay, therefore I can state that SP is going to then be equal to, okay, so SP is then equal to QS is equal to QS, okay, why? Because of uh, sides opposite equal angles, okay, so I have proven that SP is equal to QS, okay, and I have this triangle, okay, so now I'm going to deal with this triangle. Now I know from midpoint theorem, okay, that this, or due to this one being parallel to this one, okay, we then know that these sides are proportional. So I know that uh, MN, okay, all over NR is going to then be equivalent to ms over ps okay or sp whichever one you want to do it but now we know that ps equals to qs okay um this is from our uh, this is due to sn uh, being parallel to pr okay and then we can say that because ps equals to qs i end up with mn over nr equals to ms over qs okay and we've proven what we need to prove okay so that's how we go about doing this question if you found today's video helpful then please leave a thumbs up on the video it does help me a lot uh, please consider subscribing to the channel uh, go check out the channel there are physics and chemistry paper past paper questions as well and remember it's never too late to have an oic moment